Hey everyone, it's me again, Aquastar. I thought I would just do, try to do a quick video, give you guys an update on one of my fish. It's really the only fish that I've been having consistent problems with. Um, as you guys know, I'm usually pre pretty good about diagnosing and uh, treating my fish for certain things. Even Mr. Clovis right there had extreme dropsy when he first came to me. Um, I did get him better from that. It's been about seven or eight months now. If you kind of look, his scales stick up like 10%. I always try to do it by percentage to make it more easier to understand, even for me. Uh, when he came, his scales were definitely 100% out, pretty much 90, 100%. Now they're about 10%. That's the way they've been ever since he's, he's gotten better. I'm just guessing there's still a little bit of fluid underneath his skin. Um... He's fine. He seems okay. Nonetheless, man, I, it, me and this little dude beat Dropsy. Yeah. So, la, la, la. There he is. Um, but now, Mabry, right there, my chocolate Aranda. When I first got her, she was only about two and a half inches with her tail. Um, now, she's probably with her tail, which she does have a really big tail. With her tail, she's probably about seven inches. Uh, yeah, probably about seven beautiful fish. I always said that she was going to be a big healthy fish. She is big and she is pretty tough. Uh, the only thing I'm having with Mabry, I love her face so much. The only thing I'm having problems with is she's got some kind of infection uh, on her tail. That's just wind growth on her head right there. That's that bubbly stuff on Aranda's heads. Uh, it's just like a little white pimple and then it turns into head growth. So that's nothing to be concerned about. But down here, you can see those splits at the bottom of her tail. <clears throat> it splits up pretty far and it's kind of white. Uh, it's not spreading too badly. It's kind of staying the same, but nonetheless, it's something that concerns me. Now I have medicated her with Canaplex. Uh, I want to say Arithmocyan, but it ain't, no, it's, it's pronounced something else. I can't ever pronounce it. And I've done general cure. She's also been treated for parasites. I pulled her out, put peroxide on it a couple times. There's only two things that I can think of that I can try even more with is um, pulling her out, putting more peroxide on it more often. Because I would pull her out and put peroxide on it like once a week. Maybe I should do it twice a week. Um, you know, definitely make sure her water is even cleaner than what I normally keep it. And I also am thinking about running a treatment of fungus fungus cure some kind of fungus medication on her just to see if maybe it's some kind of fungus that's that's setting up instead of bacteria um she man she's still getting very big she eats great she's gorgeous look at that face she's big i was really hoping to see her change some colors her belly's kind of white i was hoping maybe she'd turn into a big white fish that would be amazing I absolutely love Mabry. She's not one of my most friendly fish. She does not beg to me, <laughs> and that's fine. She, I don't need disciples in my life, so that is fine. Um, but it's just very discouraging because I'm kind of having to keep her on Canaplex because, I don't know, it seems to be keeping the tail in check, and then it, it seems like whenever I take her off of Canaplex within a few days, she starts getting kind of like Popeye. So, she's not doing too good at all. This has been going on for the next, uh, or the last few months on and off. And, um, even when she was over here, I had her over here for a really long time. <clears throat> nobody else is sick, man. As you can see, I mean, nobody else is sick. Nobody else is having those symptoms of ripped white fins, Popeye, anything like that. It is something that's going on with Mabry. Um, I'm just thinking about doing like a fungus medication on her um and then but first i think i might try pulling her out twice a week and putting peroxide on those splits on her tail and uh maybe just up her water changes too instead of once a week 50 percent, maybe twice a week 50 percent. so i think i'm going to try some the, the more easier method first instead of going to the the fungus medicine so but like what i said um you know keep in mind anybody that thinks that i don't know what i'm doing or something we're all still learning keep that in mind we're all still here learning you never really stop learning um i did help little clovis get better i've had a few other fish that's gotten sick but man mabry her tail 
it, it kind of folds under. I've said it in other videos, it kind of folds under. And that's where those splits started was in that fold. And it's just kind of spread up a little bit and turning white. And it's just really got me worried, man. Because I love Mabry. I grew her out myself. She was kind of small when I got her. Pretty small. So I've grew her out myself. I'm very proud of her. Her tail's like this big brown velvet blanket spreading out behind her. Like this big veil. She is just so pretty. I love her. Her big face. I don't know if you guys can grasp exactly how big she is. Um, but, you know, compared to some of the other fish, you can look pretty big fish even in her body even without her tail she's very wide she has a lot of girth to her god I love this fish so much so you guys just uh, say a prayer cross your finger send out well wishes for Mabry uh, I'll go on and upload this happy Memorial Day everyone I hope you have a great day um, and we'll see you guys really soon bye